Chicago police are announcing charges in Friday's shooting of a security guard. Let's listen in. In the attempted murder of Chicago police officers in Dalton, Illinois on Saturday. Because of the courageous efforts of the Chicago police officers and detectives, 36-year-old Roderick O'Neill has been charged with one felony count of first-degree murder, one felony count of murder, two felony counts of attempted first-degree murder, three felony counts of aggravated battery against a police officer, six misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing a police officer, and two issuances of a warrant. I want to extend our deepest condolences to the family of the 43-year-old victim. He was simply at the store doing his job when his life was tragically taken from him. This was truly a department-wide effort to apprehend this suspect, from the patrol division to the detectives and to the Bureau of Counterterrorism. They all did what they could to bring justice to this case and the victim's family. They also removed, and remember this is an extremely important point, they also removed an extremely violent individual from our streets. There's no doubt in my mind if the Chicago Police Department, the detective division had not acted so swiftly, this individual would have acted out viciously again and we would have had more victims. The detectives who wasted no time in identifying this offender. I also want to thank the Homicide Investigative Support Team and the 15th District officers for their courage. They did surveillance knowing that they were coming in contact with a very, very violent offender. They put their lives, they put themselves at risk to do this surveillance to apprehend this, this individual. I just want everyone to keep in mind right now, again, I'd really like to highlight the work of these men and women who are standing here to my left, the hard work that they're doing out there to keep the city safe and to hold violent offenders accountable. They work every day to do this. And quite oftentimes, they don't get the credit for it. They're not recognized for it. And I want to make sure that they get the recognition for the work that they're doing. And we, we want everyone in the city to know that we are working as hard as we can to keep this city safe and to reduce the number of victims of violent crime in this city.